What's going on, folks? Thanks for joining me on another episode of Duck Gun Chronicles. Guys, this is part two of the sailboat to duck hunting sneak boat, duck hunting layout, duck hunting boat conversion, and I'm super excited about it. Part one, we uh, cut this thing apart, we tore out all the foam, we cleaned it up, and now we are ready to build. So I'm super excited about that. Um, it's gonna be an awesome video, so stay tuned. But if you're new here, guys, hit the sub button. The main gig of this channel is putting out the hunt content from the beginning of September all the way through late season in February. Um, also, guys, I wanna share with you, we're doing the hunt giveaway again um, with my buddy from Freelance Duck Hunting. We're doing it again. Uh, guys, if you've seen the, the duck hunting, the, the duck bus, that's what we're gonna be doing. That's what we're doing the, the hunt giveaway around this year. Um, so make sure you jump over to our Patreon, Patreon slash Freelance Duck Hunting, and that's how you enter for a chance to uh, come with us on a, a waterfall hunt this year. So, alrighty. Um, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right, right into so it. So where we left off last time, guys, you've seen it all torn up. Um, I did a few things off camera. Um, I fiberglassed the boat. I patched, here's the main hole that was causing it to be waterlogged. This is where some of the sailboat stuff was rotted or rotted away. They had connected on here. This was the drain pipe, and this is where the rudder was going through. And obviously, I spray painted it brown just for a little added protection. I know it's not gonna do much, but also just wanted it to uh, kind of look, I just don't want the white standing out in the, the marsh, any chance of that, so. That's where we're at in that. I'm ready to flip it over and we got the plywood and two by fours. We're gonna start framing this thing up and get her ready to go. I'm super excited. Let's get after it. And I'm putting it on top of the two by four and I got four panels right now and all four panels are either gonna be um, or both glued and screwed to this beam. And you see where I'll have to add extra support under the bottom to reach all the way across. Um, but the way I'm cutting it is I'm laying these in here and then I'm measuring right across the center here and then cutting that away. And then this will slide over to the other side. So pretty much doing the inverse, cutting that off and then moving it over so that it fits into place. So that's a, that's the strategy for that pro tip on that. And uh, we'll keep going. So I got the boards in place, cut them. Pretty much I just wanted to get everything to size before it continued on the next step. And then from there, uh, it, everything's gonna be either screwed or glued to that main beam right through the center here. And then on the outside, what's gonna hold it is going to be two by fours like this. So they'll be holding uh, the weight of this above it and holding these down. So that one's not enough, but. So something like this, you guys will get it. Um, obviously they'll have to be better sized. I just grabbed some scrap to show you. And then from there, we'll actually cut this down, maybe like something like this, and this board will sit in there. So the boards encasing the whole thing will be a little bit lower. And, uh, and those will have two purposes, to hold down the deck and to hold up the frame going all the way around this. So, um, I did have some people comment or even message me saying that they uh, really like this idea and that they were going to copy mine. Yes, I really, <laughs> I'm just winging it. I've said it from the first video. Um, so, you know, maybe take some inspiration. I don't know if I'd copy it 100%. Hopefully it all works how we're planning it, but we'll see. Stay tuned. Let's, let's get after it. All right, another step done in the process. So I got all the cross members or the support, whatever you want to call it, um, that the rails are going to ride on. So um, again, they're going to be glued down and hold down the uh, platform. And then it's going to hold up the sides uh, so that we can build up our wall 
build up our wall that'll especially be important for like back here. So you imagine it's gonna be like this, but all the way around it. So it'll be four, six pieces, six two by fours cut. Fit perfect, so that's the next step. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have to uh, use a jigsaw and trim these down, you'll see, but so that the rails can ride maybe a quarter of the way down under, three quarters of the way above to give us some more height there and yeah so that's the next step let's keep on rolling Alrighty guys, next update, and it's freaking a brutal, brutal day to be doing this. The real fill is 96 degrees. Bring me to fall, but here we go guys. I got all of the brackets cut for both sides. I got the walls set in place, nothing screwed or glued. It's just set on there, making sure it fits. Um, but that's what's next. I'm going to be jumping in there and uh, getting it all down to place, so. Here we go. just wrapping up the framework for the sailboat build and it's looking pretty good so here it is in its completion um, got everything framed in I got the walls framed in all the support and I think I might have to put it feels really solid right now but um, figuring out something to do with that front um, but everything else like I said I'm pretty pleased with and then the new thing you guys haven't seen and well i ran out of gopro battery so um and i just want to keep trucking but here is the brace for the transom got it braced in the back look at, all, look at those fancy cuts man all the way to here and got it braced through the back to give this support too so and i made it fit for the mud motor mount so it's gonna fit right in there and we'll be good to go so sweet let me just climb up in here oh, oh yeah but oh, I'm just gonna sit down in here yeah I can feel it I can feel this but anyways guys that's all I got for today on the video this thing's coming along. I'm super pumped with it. I'm excited for the next video because uh, I got the mud motor in except for the shaft. So um, I'm gonna be putting that together and the next video you guys are gonna be seeing is me testing this on the water. I just wanna test it before I get everything else um, wrapped up on it just in case it's like terrible and I have to redo something or reposition the transom or whatever. But at this point, it is saleable. <laughs> it is ready for the mud motor and we're going to test it out so stay tuned guys i'm super excited for part three of the series um but that's all we got for today guys i'm jordan duck and chronicles and we'll see you guys on the next one let's go